Good morning folks, it's Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com and it's the 20th of March. Uh, there's an interesting day coming up after the weekend. Uh, not only on the 23rd is the moon the furthest point north and the lowest point in the sky, uh, also the first quarter moon. Uh, not only are those two things happening, uh, which you know have their own weather effects uh, associated with them but on the 22nd is this thing called the equinox and the equinox is quite an important day uh, the equinox is when the earth relative to the, to the sun is moving faster so this is what's really happening during the um, year the, the earth on a tilt goes around the sun like that and if we put the sun in here uh, so the, uh, the uh, when the when it's all in this position, the northern hemisphere is facing towards the sun, and the northern hemisphere will be getting their summer. And when it comes around to here, that's the halfway point. And by the time it gets to here, the southern hemisphere is pointing towards the sun, and they get their summer. And then it comes around here, that's the halfway point, and that's what's happening actually right at the moment. Uh, that's the halfway point between summer and winter, and the winter of course happens in the uh, in June in the northern hemisphere uh, sorry the southern hemisphere um, and the uh, what we've just come through is that has been the summertime well this halfway point is very important because what's happening is it's like the midpoint of a pendulum in the midpoint of a pendulum that's the point at which it's going fastest and it's the same with the earth relative to the sun the Earth's speed is, uh, it speeds up and it distorts the atmosphere. The effect of the Sun, do, uh, the Earth traveling past the Sun, it causes a distortion, causes a twisting of the atmosphere and we get a lot of turbulence um, high up in the atmosphere, a lot of winds get developed. They used to talk about equinox winds or equinoctial winds and they always happened around March the 22nd and September the 22nd uh, and you know they've kind of stopped talking about those things uh, lately probably because of the emphasis on the fact that you know global warming and man is supposed to be causing the weather and the climate now you know which is you know, a lot of rubbish I mean it was always was the sun and the moon and always will be and um, but you won't see that written up so much now in the papers about the equinox winds well when the equinox occurs at the same time as some moon event which is what's happening Monday and Tuesday, uh, then for sure we're going to get some turbulence out of it. So what I think is going to happen is that a new system is going to develop in northern Queensland and it's become, going to become cyclonic and it'll probably take three or four days and then start to spread itself and intensify and uh, that'll coincide with the full moon uh, which will be coming up around the turn into the new month um, of April and I think that's what's coming up. So you're going to start to see it forming around about, you know, Wednesday um, of next week. And it could be a bit of this old system that's returning to the Queensland coast from the old cyclone that was over Fiji. Uh, that could be something that hangs around a little bit and then intensifies into this new system. Or it could be a whole new system. But anyway, that's what's coming up as far as I can see uh, next week. And, you know, due to that uh, equinox I think um, uh, around March 22nd every year we generally get some cyclonic weather that is associated with both the moon and the sun which is the equinox situation and as well in September uh, that's another time for you know cyclonic activity sometimes in the northern hemisphere so uh, I hope that's been of interest to you Ken Ring predictweather.com thanks for watching hope to see you tomorrow